Hey guys, this is your boy Red Default Blocks, and today we have 20, almost close to be 20 phone updates, but this is like a 19 phone update. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of phones, guys. So, yeah, I don't know how I managed to get it, but yeah. So, this is the majority of the phones I have, it, it works, and I'm gonna show you. And the only uh, broken phones I have is one, five phones that are broken, and the rest of them here in this row works. So, yeah. First, this is a coupe at a rice on Sprint. This thing works. This is the the one I, I I had. This is the one I had actually. This I had to swap the speakers because this has a bad speaker. This has a good speaker, so yeah. I swapped both speakers and the speaker now works. And I also swapped the back covers because this back cover is not quite good. This thing is a has a little bit of a good back cover, so yeah. Looks kinda mint though, not that much. But this thing works fine, so yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure where it's sprint because it's this top app, so yeah. Ooh. It's gonna take a so this this 19 full update guys is gonna take a lot of work, so yeah. But thank you guys for this. Um to almost like like around like oh, over two hundred subscribers we I have this channel, so yeah, thank you so much. And that's gonna help me out with this thing, so yeah. And what you guys wanted to do is my my main channel guys if you want me guys to do is either I want to do guys is the AT&T and Singular stop and shut down all the devices because why not? I might do this on my main channel sometime soon. So yeah, this thing works. You can see, yeah, it says yeah, it's on Sprint. So yeah, you can tell. It says top apps. This thing works though. It is a CDMA smartphone. So yeah, it has my own wallpaper. So yeah. Next, this is my only basic phone on this because most of them are smartphones and this is the only basic phone I can, I can get. Sorry about the motorcycle. This is a Alcatel Go Flip on Boost Mobile. Works. I have one on Metro PCS, but both of the screens don't, of the backlights don't work. But this is the one I can actually have. It. You see Boost Mobile, 4G LT nationwide. It does work, so yeah. Obviously, because it was in good condition. So yeah. Mm. Nice. Hope we can get a, a Metro PCS one, another one that's either broken, like has a, mm, if it's locked with a code, maybe I'm not sure, because I've never seen those KaiOS um phones like this locked in their codes before. So yeah. Yeah, man, I might get it. I'm not sure, but we'll see about it. This thing works. See, it has my own wallpaper, which I had it from the SD card. Oh, we can. Oh no, what happened to this back cut, back cut, back light. No, this. Oh, there you go. It was hanging. Low. It takes a little longer, so yeah, it does work. So yeah. Let's go to the next one. Here's an LG Optimus F60 on Metro PCS works. And yeah, this, this thing is in good quad. This thing is in good condition. Not, not even cracked at all. Almost most of my phones I had are cracked. Yes, yes this thing works, yeah. And after that, uh, this thing works. Everything else works fine. Uh, besides this charging port, guys, it's really, it has a broken charging port, which I'm actually sure it was a different source, so yeah. Yeah, it's on 8%, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, I interrupted because it's, um, because of the low battery, um, alert. So, yeah. Works fine. It has my own wallpaper, though. You guys can tell. So, yeah. Works fine. Here's an LG Aristo 2 on Metro by T-Mobile. Works. And this thing is FRP locked. Yes. I didn't expect this to work because, you know, how much, you know, this... Uh, chunk of this glass is missing. I didn't even expect this to work, guys. I'm so surprised. I don't know how. I I got two of those things, guys. Which this thing is the only one that works. I got the other one, but it's broken. Which I'm gonna show you right now. It's the one that came with it. So yeah. This one, this one I got this at first. It was sticky. Almost every single phones I got, they were sticky. But I managed to clean them off. So yeah. This thing is FRB locked and is in two percent. Which which yeah, I just having to charge this thing. Um, fully, unfortunately, so yeah. I will charge this thing later on because, yeah, when I after I swap this thing, works fine. 
I'm gonna swap the batteries because this uses the same battery as that one, so yeah. And this here, this is an LG Aristo 3 on also on Metro PCS Works. And you guys can tell I didn't notice it will work because you know this this down here in this chunk thingy is missing still. Touchscreen still works. Like literally, it all works. I'm so surprised guys, I didn't notice. And yeah guys, the LCD, yeah, it's not good. It looks like it's reflected up top, so yeah. And there's some burn-ins I, I, I found, so yeah. No setup or shutdown sound, unfortunately, so yeah. But you guys you can see it's blue. For me, it's just all purple. I don't know why, but it's just, I think I'm colorblind with those types of colors like this, so I think so. If I am, but not on the phone, just in real life, not on the phone, not on the camera though, so yeah. You didn't notice it. I mean, it's just how it is. And you guys can see, it says welcome, and it's also FRP locked, you guys can see. Those two I bought, those two were um, locked with a, with a um, passwords or pins, so yeah. Oh, this has secure setup, which I'm not gonna want this because I I just don't, it's kind of buggy. To have it, oh my, ugh. Let me turn it off, please. Okay, finally. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't let me, so yeah. yeah you guys can see the burning? Yeah, not good. I mean, at, le at least as long as the LCD works and the touchscreen works, both of them, the LCD and touchscreen works, which includes the digitizer, it should be good. Here's the next one. This is a Pentec Burst on at t Works. And I love that color, guys. That color is red. So yeah. Ooh, the vibration is kind of strong. Yeah, I think it died. Oh, never mind. This had games in there, but now I just hard reset because I want to make this thing fast. Just, you see the color, guys? It looks nice. This thing works. No cracks at all. Everything else, it's really, really good. It has a SIM card, but this... It's an Android 2 phone, and this can work without an SD card. Like, I'm so surprised. I didn't notice it can, it can work without an SD card. I don't know why it says that's a glitch. It's just preparing an SD card, even though it has internal storage. So, yeah. Good thing it has an internal storage because if it because I can save up SD cards. So, yeah. Nice one. Works. Has a SIM card, though, and everything else. Well, this thing is turning off. I'm going to tell you about this. Here's an Agata One Touch Fears on Metro PCS. I have three of these right now. So yeah. Two of them I had broken. This thing is the only one that works. This thing works, but I'm not gonna turn this thing on because I'm gonna skip it because unfortunately it takes long to to for the startup. It stucks in the Metro PCS for like for like around two hours or something. This now finally turns on. It's gonna take forever this thing. Cause you know guys, those things are a piece of crap. This thing is a piece of crap. If you guys used this for, for like before and you guys used it before that you just liked it, yeah it is. It's a piece of, it's a piece of crap though. Alright, so it does work, but I'm not gonna turn it on still. So yeah, hold on, let me move this. Alright, here comes the rest of them. There's a bunch of smartphones. Here's a Motorola Droid X Droid X on Verizon. It works. I have another one, but it broke. It this one came with it also. And this back cover came from another Droid X that, that was broken, from the broken Droid X, and I put it over here because this thing did not have a back cover. But it does work though, so yeah. You guys, you guys can see, yeah. <laughs> Looks nice though. I, this phone, I have never even got this thing before, but... In the pictures, it looks kind of bigger, but in a per in person, it looks small. It looks kind of small. But this thing works fine, so yeah. As you guys can see, I did not set up my wallpaper yet. But I will set it up after this video, when I finish uploading it. Works. Well, this thing is turning off. Here's this Samsung Galaxy J2. The J2, aka the G2, J2 Core. Not G, I said J2. J2 Core. Anyways, it is on Metro Peace and it's on Metro by T Mobile. It was on Metro PCS at first, but now it's on Metro by T Mobile. This one works. It had a it had a passcode when this thing um I set up in the first time. 
but I FR I hard reset and it's FRP log. So yeah, hopefully I can find a method for this. So yeah, I don't know why for me. I don't know why it says I'm blue on the camera and, and for me it's um purple, crazy. I'm not colorblind, guys. I'm sorry about this. It's just how an illusion it is on my cameras. I'm not colorblind, so yeah, I'm not. And it's just high there. Speakers work switch. I'm at. Show you. Hold on. See speakers work. I don't know why it doesn't have no setup or shutdowns, but I just haven't done that yet because I haven't set up. That's why. Next, here's an LG K10 on AT&T works, and it has its um new AT&T setup sound, the newer version, not the older version anymore. It's not the older version. It's the newer version, guys. This thing works, and it's also FRP locked. This wasn't. This wasn't. This was. This was. I got so many smartphones that are FRP locked, which is including one, two, three, four, and five and six. I got six smartphones that are FRP locked. Like literally FRP locked and I could not even bypass it easily. Cause almost every single thing I just haven't tried except this one because this one the one thing I tried uh, FRP bypass it on YouTube, it was patched. So yeah. I'm gonna tell you this thing right now. After all these three phones here. This thing works fine, see. Sorry guys about then then turn up the volume. So yeah. Yeah, well, let this thing sit also until it turns off. Here's a coup pad. Um, um, I forgot the name. Hold on a second. It's a coup pad defined on Metro PCS. This thing works. This, unfortunately, some some various parts of the touchscreen right somewhere uh, down here wasn't working right, but, but I managed to make it work. So, yeah, by just touching it. Touching it horizontally. I mean, I think it's some area over here, but I'm not sure. <sighs> Works. It did not include the SIM card, so I had to use the SIM card, the one I had in my small box of SIM cards. So yeah. Works. Yeah, it's kind of hard though. Nice one though. It's, it's kind of a piece of garbage. This thing is cracked in the corner, but otherwise it doesn't work. Next, here's this Coupad Legacy SR, Legacy SR on Assurance Wireless, which yeah, that works. You guys know Assurance Wireless because I already showed you that it was the it was the one from Virgin Mobile. This is a newer one. This is the one that runs. This is my only smartphone in my collection that runs Android Nine. You guys can see USB C. You know, it has a removable back cover and battery. I didn't know this thing could take USB C. That is the weirdest thing I, I I never had it. Like literally, never had this thing like this that uses this type of um um this type of um this type of um connection before. So yeah, unfortunately, it says invalid SIM because it has a SIM card of a of Telcel. And I'm sorry, but I have this Wi-Fi on because yeah. Uh, this does work, yes. You guys can see, you can tell this runs Android Pie, so yeah. Next, here's an LG K30 on T Mobile. Works. And yeah, it works, but it's missing its SIM tray, which yeah. As long as it, as long, and this thing is cracked, though, you guys already know. You already see, I'm sorry about that. If it was almost severely cracked, uh, severely cracked but the LCD works. I need to put some clear tape over it because I don't want anything else bad to happen. I don't want to get this screen to be cracked really bad. So yeah, hoping I may get the um you know yeah, LG K30. I might get the FRB bypass later on. So yeah, this thing works though. I mean yeah, it is on T-Mobile. It looks nice. LGs was a better phones back in the day, but now unfortunately they just um you know. Some of the phones on from some other um 
from their models are not that good but some of them are good so yeah because they use LG phones you guys will remember it and this one is some sort of government phone I never had this thing is the one I had but this isn't red and it was this isn't this is a Sky Devices Elite B5 on unlocked because it's a government phone this thing works I put any sim I put every single sim card I have but it takes like nano sim I think yeah and it does accept everything because it's, it is unlocked because it's unlocked obviously it does work on the why it's just see and it is cracked not that not that bad though it's not that major I have one as a hairline crack which I'm gonna tell you that right now yeah this thing works 99% which is nice yeah it works and it is FRP locked so yeah Okay, let's start um, reviewing the broken phones. Here we have my five broken phones. First, this is a LG K10 Plus on Metro PCS. This thing work. This thing turns on and everything, but it has a hairline crack though. Uh, again, sorry about that. It, it turns on and everything, but it does not show anything on the display. Yeah, so it's sort of a piece of garbage though. And it is water damage because, yeah, that's why it won't show anything else. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. Don't know what was that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, this is my second. What the heck? It hurts. Why it hurts? What the heck? Hold on a second, guys. Sorry, guys. It was some sort of red spike that I, I had it in my finger, but I managed to remove my pliers. No, not pliers. I mean tweezers. Anyways, this is my second Motorola Droid X. I'm not going to touch the back anymore. This thing is also on Verizon. This is the one with its back cover with its battery, which. I removed it so yeah this thing does not work because it's severely water damaged and yeah it's not good at all here's the second is my second LG Aristo 2 also on Metro PCS this thing was sticky a little bit this thing does not work because the LCD is messed up and huge chunk of it huge a raw chunk of it's missing so yeah yeah that's not good it was not good at all so yeah Here's the severely cracked, almost severely cracked, almost like beat up a lot. The ZT Abbott Plus on Metro PCS. This thing is on a boot loop. And it because, yeah. It is weird though, because it's not even water damaged. I don't know why it's on a boot loop, even though it's not water damaged. I think someone else has been using it and it spilled something on top of it. I'm not, I'm not sure. And last but not least, here's my second. Sky Devices Elite B5 I had for a while. This is also unlocked and it's a government phone also. Works, but it it's has a bad b motherboard, so yeah. Yeah, but at least I have one that works though, so yeah. That's enough for all these um 19 phone update guys, so yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna put this on top of this broken cool pad because why not? And that's enough for you guys and thank you so much for watching guys and hopefully I might do it on my on my main channel hopefully I might post a video of um sub or shutdown on all of my um singular and at t singular at t devices which is yeah that includes smart that includes smartphones and basic phones and all that stuff and yeah even the hotspot I have so yeah that's enough that's enough for you guys and peace oh my goodness bunch of work guys yeah so Peace.